Well, this culminates several years of planning on the part of many people in Springfield and on the Board of Regents, uh, which is a one which marks one step uh, toward the realization of Sangamon State University. Many, many years ago, actually close to 50 years now, a group of us used to go down to the Sangamo Club uh, every Saturday. There were about 15 of us, and we were all businessmen, talking about the need for higher education in the city of Springfield. We all just worked and worked and finally uh, legislation was able to be passed for Sangamon State. And um, from that time to now we've watched it grow, it's just been marvelous. We opened for classes in late August of 1970. I had been here six months already helping plan and recruit faculty. Being married I decided that uh, possibly it might be a good idea to go to school here in town. Uh, rather than leaving my husband and um, going someplace else. There were literally hundreds if not thousands of people like me who um, really didn't have an easy way to get a college degree and desperately wanted one. With uh, a great big field of grass, I think it's grass out there, no buildings as yet, how did you decide to go to Sangamon State? Well, I decided to go to Sangamon State when, uh, after I attended Lincoln Land. We started thinking about uh, Sangamon State. Uh, I also think about something else. I also think about the Afro-American leadership that this city is, uh, that that university has produced for this city. And if you look around at the Urban League and look around at the Housing Authority and other Afro-American headed uh, entities around here, most all of them came out of uh, Sangamon State. When I first came here to begin teaching, uh, my father and mother drove over from the neighboring state of Indiana and we couldn't even tour the classroom buildings. The campus wasn't open yet for business. In the fall of 1970, we had 800 students coming and 45 faculty, but we all had to begin teaching down in churches and other buildings downtown. You had to take a hard hat tour if you wanted to see the campus. And my father looked at my husband and me as if to say, what have you done? It's a little hard to uh, encapsulize all of the spirit, but certainly for me, and I think many students and faculty and staff, there was an enormous sense of excitement. Not just another campus in Illinois, but a campus with a special mission. Back then it was a Sangamon State. What, what's a Sangamon State University? Who is that? Uh, if you went, and even in Springfield for the first year or two, but if you went outside of Springfield, it was like, that's an odd name, Sanga, what? And, and so you'd explain to everybody. Now, of course, you say you're U of I at Springfield, and they say, oh, yes, I know where you are. I can't go anywhere in this community. I can't buy anything. I can't do anything without somebody saying, you know, you gave me my diploma, or I have your picture on the mantle. One of my colleagues once told me, they said, uh, they invented Sangman State for Charlie Flaghauser. <laughs> And I think there's a certain amount of truth to the fact that I, I, I couldn't imagine a more rewarding and satisfying career than I've had here at the University, uh, UIS and SSU. I came here 35 years ago in October of 74, and at age 34 then, it became one of the career goals I had. I had accomplished that, and that was to become a part of a small group, to get in on the ground floor and build a radio station from scratch. And that's how I ended up here, and I've been here ever since. I always say that um, I think it's one of the best things that happened to Springfield. It brought in a lot of people who weren't from here, and we needed that, really. We were pretty you know, parochial in our thinking at the time. I will tell you that the city of Springfield changed as a result of it. And I think Sangamon State had a lot to do with it. It brought in not only an institution of higher learning, it brought in a new vibrancy to the community, a lot of new people. A lot of new ideas. Oh, there was some pushback and resistance at the time, but by and large, uh, at the end of the day, Springfield's a better city, and this is a better region because of Sangamon State, now UIS. One of my interests, in fact, even from a young boy, has been public service. And, and this school, even from Sangamon State University days, public service was what it, it seemed to be about. It has been exciting to view this. It's been exciting to just sit and watch it from what we used to call it. We used to call it sitting in the cornfields out there and, and uh, so we now think that it's on Broadway. It's amazing how big that campus is now. 
from you know when I, me seeing the uh, Brookins go up slowly going up and then the Public Affairs Center going up and it looked like that was going to be the end of the growth and then there was a science building and then there was housing and the temporary campus remained. All the buildings that were there originally in the 70s are still there. It took a good 20 years for people to start seeing some green here and then the 20 years that almost 20 years that I've been here it's the the original plants have gotten some good size to them um, and it's really made a difference. You've actually got shade on campus now. It's changed tremendously. Uh, and one of our ills for the first 25 years was that we operated within a fairly weak university governance system, I mean external governance, a governing board called the Board of Regents, which was not a very strong board with a lot of clout with the legislature. Now I say with uh, deep emotion and for the last time, I thank all of you on behalf of Sangamon State University. For me, it was very clear that the winning combination, if we were lucky enough, that we could go with the University of Illinois. It was also important to me that we be the third campus of the University of Illinois and not under ban or anywhere or in any, or any, or any other position. So many people in the community helped us. I couldn't name them all, but afraid I'll miss them. But there was a great deal of pride in this community and uh, people looking forward to being part of the University of Illinois. By and large, I think it was a great help. We got help adding physically to the campus. And the best part of it to me is that much of that early student-centered spirit has remained. I think for UIS, or for SSU, it was instant recognition. As, as I mentioned, I was on the search committee when Chancellor Ringeisen was, was hired, and we would call, we had several applicants, and we would call various universities to check references, and would say who we were, at UI University of Illinois in Springfield, who are you, we never heard of you. Well, that's beginning to change now, because the University of Illinois is known all over the world and has a very good reputation, so that's been good for UIS, that's been good for the people in Springfield. I think it's been, a, the university has been a great thing for Springfield. I would not like to live in a non-university town anymore. <laughs> Without the universities being here, I don't think Springfield would be 25% of the size and action that we now have. Because it adds to our economic base, it acts, to, it acts uh, as an attractor for folks that do think about coming to Springfield. When I also taught environmental studies, I uh, developed a concept called sense of place. And it's that sense of place of central Illinois that I think is really important and that this university plays an enormous role in developing uh, a sense of place for uh, the people of central Illinois. I had so many happy times here that it's very difficult. The year we were approved after a long struggle to become a four-year institution has to stand out. Both going with the University of Illinois and get, gaining four-year status meant a different future for this institution. It changed its future, it determined what was going to happen. It put us in a, in, in a different uh, category. It's amazing. It's interesting, even just since I came here in 2003, how much UIS has become better known in the city of Springfield. It's no longer that two-year university on the south side of town that nobody knows of. Everyone you meet here is a graduate of UIS, and. It's just really, it's amazing of how much, how big, how much importance the university is to the city of Springfield and that it began even 40 years ago. We are completely unique in the state of Illinois, and really almost unique in the Midwest, where you can get a, a liberal arts, small liberal arts college feeling education for the price of a public higher education. And you just, there's just uh, not very many of those. And I, I, and I think there's a lot of signs that we're catching on. What we loved about it was this was a place that gave us a chance to fulfill our dreams, to try out our pet projects, uh, and to be a part of changing the lives of students. I think this, this campus, University of Illinois Springfield, has been probably the most important single thing to happen in my life. Now, I can say this university has earned its stature within Illinois. It still is relatively small, but I know there are people who respect it and that's all you can request. When I first came that April, and this is a good story, I'd stand here on my fifth floor and look out in the middle of the afternoon, in the middle of class time, see nobody 
nobody. I was going to rent pedestrians and have them just mill around outside. But we don't have to rent pedestrians anymore. We have all those students living on campus and that'll probably increase. And that's fun. And then the rec center allowed us to get campus students and off-campus students together in there. That's a very proud, it's a very proud moment for me when we opened the, the rec center. It's just been a really exciting 40 years and you look at all the changes we've seen in the last 40 and I think, you know, we, I don't think we can even dream about what we'll look like in the next 40. I see UIS being uh, one of the first places students think about when they get ready to go to college, not just local people. I want to come back when I'm really old instead of just kind of old and look at this place and say, wow, look at it go. That's my hope. We have begun a new university together. We have tried to do more than provide credentials and degrees for personal advancement. I think we can say that our student body, as well as the Springfield community, is more alert and sensitive to the problems facing this nation and to the excitement of the world of ideas as a result of our presence.